Our goal today is going to be replacing the six pictures we have down here with the top six that we are focusing on your, our website. Me, I'm gonna pick the top six books that I read as a teenager, um, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I picked. And we're gonna put the pictures here. You notice how these pictures all fit so perfectly well together. They're all sized exactly the same. And so that's what we're going to do. We're gonna use Photoshop to size these pictures up. To do that, we're gonna use Photoshop, but we also have to use your file browser. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna use Finder. Um, if you're using Windows, you're gonna use Windows Explorer. So everyone needs to find, use uh, Windows Explorer, get to your pictures and find your six pictures. Uh, and we need to find out which one is the smallest because that's, that's your limiting, that's your constraint. And so, because all of, if, you, so if we start with your largest picture, then scaling your small ones up to max that same size, it's going to look janky. It's gonna look all pixelated. So in order to figure out which one is the smallest, I have, you can look at them and maybe in the details will tell you the size of each one. And so, or you can change your display so it, you uh, see the details. Um, uh, this is sort by. So for me, my view is right here That's for details view. Um, and I can see this is my smallest file, or 68 is actually, that's my smallest. So I'll start with my smallest, and I'm gonna open that up in Photoshop. So here it is, my smallest picture in Photoshop right here. And now looking at it, kind of zoomed up, you might say this is too small it's too pixelated. Maybe I go back and find a better picture. So I'm actually, because I want to do a really good job, I'm going to do that right now. And to do that, I'm going to use DuckDuckGo so I can download the picture directly. Uh, so this is uh, Ender's Game book cover. And I believe in a concept called Death of the Author, which is actually misused. And Death of the Author just means once you publish something, it's kind of divorced from the person. Uh, and Orson Scott Card has said some pretty hateful things. I'm not super big fan of his social media game, not gonna lie, but uh, the book is really good. And so um, now I've got a higher quality picture, slightly, I don't know. I, want, I wanted the old school cover, um, but I'll just, this is not the same sort of shape as the other ones, I'm trying to keep that lined up. I can use this one, but it says like major motion picture. Like, I don't care about the movie. I just want the old school book cover that I recognized as a kid. But all right, I'll just grab this one, save it in jazz, and I'm going to save it to my same folder. There you go. And so now I will uh, go back to Finder and I'm going to take out that old one because I have a new one that's higher quality. So now this is my smallest. I'm gonna open with Adobe Photoshop. Okay, this is my smallest picture now. And for the record, uh, my book selection is heavily biased <laughs> towards uh, what a you know pubescent teenage boy is going to lean towards. But um, if you've never read Armor, it's awesome. And it's the first book I ever read for fun that no one made me do, I just, I just read it. And yeah, so very cool. So I have my first uh, image opened in Photoshop. Now I'm gonna come around the room and I'm gonna help you open your smallest picture in Photoshop. That's what we're doing. Okay, so the next step, now that you've got your one picture loaded and the other picture is waiting, we're just going to, uh, Follow. Actually, you know what? Before I get too far, let's save this project. File, save as. And then we're just gonna call it um, Sizer. And we want to save it as a Photoshop document. So this is our project. It's gonna have many different layers. And I don't, if you wanna change one of your pictures, I don't want you to have to redo this process. 
So notice how it says PSD and then I s selected a Photoshop document. This is not an image you can use. You can't put this up on Replit. You can't put it on your website. A Photoshop file is just so we can come back and edit uh, the Adobe side of things. So I did file save as. I'm putting on my desktop or a folder that you've got and I'm just naming it uh, whatever, sizer.psd. So now I have it saved um, just a little bit easier. All I did was save this Photoshop project. That's it. Okay. And, yeah, and if you missed it, it's not even a big deal. Oh, okay. Now that we've saved that, um, the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to Alt-Tab or Command-Tab on a Mac and just grab that. Or you can just click on the folder that it's on the bottom of the screen. And... I'm going to take my next picture and I'm just going to drag one at a time right on top. And then mostly covered up, but I'm just going to size it up a little bit larger and fill the frame. And then I'm going to press the checkbox up at the top. So I've got another picture in uh, another picture on top of that. And you can notice down in the layers over here, I now have two pictures one on top of the other, and I can hit the eyeball to see what's underneath. So, end of game, armor, end of game, armor. So, uh, I've got two uh, pictures in. I'm just going to rinse and repeat now. The next one, I'm just going to drag it on top, It and it's a little bit cut off. But I'm going to build it up. Not cut off, it didn't fill. So I'm just going to make sure it fills. And that will cut off some of the picture. And if it really doesn't work, I could go back and find a different, an alternative. But this one fits fine. So there you go. I now have three done. So next. This is not a typical high school read, but man, was it good. OK, cool. Next up, and I just I'm trying to make sure I don't grab the same one. Then this is armor, so I already did that one. All right, there we go. Da, 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 da. Same, another author with a less than perfect social media game. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna <laughs> size this up. I'm gonna size it up extra just so it fills in real nicely. Okay. And last one, again, I'm just gonna fill. Okay, checkbox. Now I should have six layers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can double click and name them differently. Uh, and you can also order them. So they should be in reverse order because the first one, this is going to be number one. I'm sorry, no, it should be in first order. So this will be number one. So order them so that your favorites are on top. Um, I mean, the, obviously the Hobbit should go first, um, but you order them as, as you'd like. Um, uh, yeah, and you might have to unlock one. Double click to unlock. All right, so I'm gonna walk around the room again and see if I can help you get all six layers uh, neatly on top of each other. For those of you that are already done, uh, give yourself a control S or like command S on a Mac just to save the file. So you, you added in all these layers. So uh, make sure you, you save the PSD file. This again, that's your working file. Uh, it'll just help. So now we need to get these pictures um, uh, out of Adobe Photoshop now that they're all neatly sized. And we are going to label them very cleanly, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, not picture one, two, three, just the number one. It's gonna save us a lot of effort and, and you'll see on the other end of this. So follow along. All, of, all six layers are currently being shown. So eyeballs all the way down. And then we're gonna start on the first one, file, export, Export as, not save as, file export, export as. My file is going to look a little bit different than your file, but still, look at the top, find file, 
export, export as. And then it's going to say, what kind of file do you want? And we want a JPG, a JPEG. Nice and friendly for the web, JPEG. All these settings are fine. That's just how it was, uh, how your picture came out. Just you can leave it as default and just export. And then I'll put it together with my other ones and I'm going to call it number one dot JPEG. Some of you like accidentally erase the dot JPG and will uh, put it in all caps. You don't need to do that. Just capital letters and names are, can be a problem. Okay, so one.jpg and save. That's done. Now I'm going to hit the eyeball and hide that and move on to the next one. File, export, export as, and the settings are saved. Hit OK, and I will say number two. Enter. And then hide that layer and repeat. File, export, export as, export and three enter this is exciting okay hi this layer file export export as okay and four enter oh yeah forgot i gotta hide that layer file export export as this is the british title the philosopher's stone uh the u.s title is sorcerer's stone but the British, I don't know, British cover art is almost always better. One, two, three, four, four, five. And then hide this, I think. And then file, export, export as, export, and six. All right. You know you are done if you can go and see one, two, three, four, five, six, all six of your pictures right here. Ta da. They should be right there, ready to go. Once you have all six of these pictures, then it's time to make sure you load up your replit window. Like so, um, punk, replit. And mine is acting weird. I'm gonna refresh this real quick. And should be able to see my files now. Oh, I was just folded up. Okay, files, there we go. Okay, I'm going to pause here and I'm going to walk around the room, make sure that you can get to your top six pictures. Okay, so our next step is going to, uh, in the image folder, if you click this folder, it drops this down. Now, Replit has a weird situation that uh, this, is, this project is not a big deal where if you click on a folder, you can accidentally like move it. Uh, careful about accidentally dropping or dragging folders in Replit. Right now, it's not a big deal, but our next project, it will, it can seriously ruin things. So just be careful about how you click. So just simple clicks. Don't accidentally scooch your mouse while you're clicking uh, in, in the Replit folder, otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. So drop down the IMG folder, and there is a little thing called Portfolio here. Follow that. Uh, strip over to the dot 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 and delete it. There goes the portfolio folder. Bye bye. And so now IMG should only have that one, this uh, background that we're not going to really use. So you can also dot 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 delete that one too, but I don't care. But that portfolio folder, toss that sucker. And once you uh, have purged that, then you're going to highlight your six uh, pictures. You can drag and select them, or you can click on one and hold down shift and click on another and highlight a group. Uh, there's all sorts of ways. I can hold down shift and press my arrow keys. You know, anyway, highlight and select your six pictures that you have done. Hopefully they're labeled one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just going to drag them carefully right on top of the IMG folder. And now I have uploaded my six pictures. There they are. And so you should now be able to see your six pictures all nice and neat right here. You have successfully uploaded 
your edited images, and now they are all identically sized. I'm gonna come around the room, make sure you got uh, those six uploaded. So bad news, all of your pictures are currently broken because if we go to web view, the filler pictures that are that used to hold these, we deleted these pictures. So once you refresh your web view, you're gonna see six broken images. Dunk, 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 because we threw them away. So what we need to do is like quote unquote, wire up these pictures, meaning connect. These are trying to find the portfolio images that are no longer there. So we're going to point them instead to these six pictures that we have. So let me show you. If they're in the index.html, open up your index.html, scroll down to the portfolio section. You'll notice that all of the sections are nicely, neatly labeled. Wow, what a helpful thing. I can fold them up all the way down to the portfolio. Or you can, oh, sorry, or you can like some sort of scrub, uh, just scroll down a lot. Um, and you don't need to fold anything. Uh, but around line 111 is where the portfolio starts. And you'll notice around line 116, 117, and I'm saying around because if you press the auto sort button, sometimes it might shift uh, your numbers as it tidies things up. But um, you'll see that our image is trying to say, okay, uh, one dot JPEG, and this is why I labeled them one, two, three, because that's what used to be there. So one.jpg is trying to find, look inside my image folder, look inside the portfolio folder, and then full size, and then number one. We got rid of these two folders, so all you need to do is highlight and remove, and then you have to do it twice. But Mr. A, why do I have to do it twice? Well, you can see that there are two different things here. There's an A and then an IMG. What are these elements? What is an A? in HTML, does anyone know? I'm looking for hands. Does anyone know what A is? Jamia. What is that? A link, that's right. A stands for anchor, which is the half of a link. The other half being the destination where it takes you. So this is uh, a link, and the other one is the image. So the first one is what you get when you click on the picture. The second one is the preview of the picture. And now one way that you can do it is have a small preview and then a higher quality image that gets loaded once you click on it. We're not bothering with that. We're both of the same file. So let's see if this works. I should now have my first picture working. There it is. Ta da. So now I need to rinse and repeat on all the rest. So just like how I did uh, these two images, I now have to do the same for these two and all the way down. All it is is just highlight, delete, highlight, delete. And so that's one, two, and then for three, highlight, delete, highlight, delete. And on down the road until you get all six done. I'm almost there. Five and six, stunning. All right, so now if it worked, if I refresh, I should have all six pictures done. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Six pictures in. Now, we can maybe tinker around with the sizing, but anyway, this is, this is fine. So you should now have your six pictures in what we're gonna do, I'm gonna come around and help you, but for the rest of the class, uh, once their pictures are done, you refer, your next bit is to make sure the writing for the rest of your website is in. This is introducing your website, this is explaining who you are and why you're uh, a good judge for this material, this is how you're judging this material, what your criteria is, and so you should re rename this section instead of at your service to like my criteria or how, I, you know, something along those lines. Um, and then it leads into your book, and uh, um, not your books, your portfolio. And if you notice, if you hover over them, it says category project name, 
you can find that in the code here next to each picture. So that should have um, the category and project name for each one fixed. So that way you can, uh, when you hover over, you can see, uh, and there's a couple of different ways you can do this. So if I just did uh, for number one, if I said, uh, if I had the ranking one, and then project name could be um, the Hobbit. And so now when I scroll over, it says the Hobbit. And you don't need to write it out like that with the rank and then the title. You can explain or you could add more context. You have a joke there. It doesn't matter. I just don't want to see the filler text uh, category and project name. Uh, you need to replace that. And that is your work for the end of the day.